everyone. I'm sorry if you get some background noise. I'm by the ocean. Being outdoors, it's a little bit hard to avoid picking up other sounds on my microphone, but hello from Italy. I'm here. I can't actually believe that I am posting a video. Um, when I got here, it's, it's, it's been a little bit hard. I'm not going to lie. In case you guys were wondering if the plastic problem is global, or I should say not just plastic, but trash. But yeah, mainly plastic. I was not planning to continue this project in Italy. I am at Lago Albano. And ta-da! I decided on, kind of by accident was, when I've been exploring out in Rome and um, Milazzo, Sicily, which is where I'm currently at, I have just been coming across more plastic. Like, this is global. Totally. I knew that already, but I haven't gotten to travel as much as I'd like, so I don't know how bad it is everywhere. And honestly, it is it's kind of bad everywhere. Um... It's, I went into some supermarkets in Rome and some supermarkets in Sicily and stuff is wrapped in plastic just like in the United States. It's like lemons, lemons are wrapped in plastic, lemons, like oranges. It's a problem here as well. And originally this was going to be a travel channel and everything. But I have not been able to come up with a good idea for what kind of content I want to post while traveling. And I brought all this gear with me, like a GoPro and all this, and I love adventures, don't get me wrong, I really do. But I just get exhausted um, carrying around all that stuff, like I can't. I don't think that's for me. I don't think that kind of vlogger is the job for me because I would stress out rather than enjoy the adventures. I think I need a partner before I get into anything like that because as much as I do love shooting like photography and stuff, I love beautiful sights. It's really hard to carry all that stuff around and for this type of talking vlogging and I don't really need much more than my camera, which is, sorry, not camera, phone, which is a lot easier for me. So, um, here I am. I think I'm going to continue, maybe, I don't want to promise anything. I'm trying to just come out with a video because I promised one weekly and I haven't thought of any other content. I've really been stressed here. I almost came home. And then today, I just picked up my camera. This is like, um, what's today? April? I don't know. I've been here about 10 days now. Maybe 11. And I've been in Sicily for about a week. And this is the first day I looked outside and was like, you know what? I'm not going to stay in my room today and panic about where I'm going next. I'm not going to stay in my room today and tell myself over and over how much I should be studying and learning Italian. It is freaking gorgeous today. I'm going outside. I don't care. I'm in my bathing suit. Everything's perfect, wonderful. Life's good. I need to stop hiding in my room and stressing. So, I decided that I am going to organize my own ocean cleanup. Why? Because I came here the other day by myself and I came here the other day with a friend from my hostel and both of us saw how ridiculous the problem with plastic and not just plastic there's other things that are thrown on the beach but there's plastic and glass and I don't want to say it's horrible like you can see behind me it's pretty clean but it's still like there's trash in a lot of places and overflowing garbage cans and it's not attractive and it's not necessary. And sure, Italy might not be the worst place in the world, um, but if you've ever heard the parable of the starfish where, ah, 
why would you do that? Like, you're not helping anything. Well, I helped one starfish. Well, I helped one beach in Italy. I might pick up a tiny little bag of stuff today, but at least I did something. And it feels good to do stuff like this. So I may be continuing with the plastic challenge. Um, not sure about trying to live without plastic, but at least trying to pick up trash and at least trying to recycle. One thing I do like about Italy is they actually everywhere sort the trash at home. You don't throw it into a mixed recycling bin. So you have one box for your uh, glass and one box for your plastic and one box for your compost and then one box for paper and cardboard and then one box for everything else. So those different companies come and pick up whatever uh, whatever days of the week. I haven't figured out the schedule yet because I'm not in charge of that at my hostel but they do make you separate trash and they do know here that you need to wash things or else it will not get recycled. Let me repeat that for any of you who are interested in increasing their consciousness. If you put anything in your recycle bin that still has food residue on it, it will not get recycled. So you should be washing out your containers that you think you're doing a great thing by recycling and putting them in a recycle bin instead of a trash, but you're really not unless you're washing your stuff first, okay? This is today's lesson. Wash your stuff if you want to recycle, because then it'll actually get recycled. That's a really cool thing about Italy, and uh, everything else though is pretty much like the States. There's still a lot of stuff that comes in plastic, there's still a lot of trash all over the beaches and streets and highways. I was actually walking along the highway one day by accident because there was no other way for me to walk and I was getting honked at like, what the fuck are you doing? You're not supposed to be walking there. And I was like, this is so illegal. I know it's so illegal, but I didn't know where to go. And that's what Google Maps told me to do. So I was walking on the other side of a guardrail and trash is all over the place. So. I definitely want to continue doing something like this. Ooh! Ooh! I found sea glass, guys! <laughs> I love sea glass. Okay, so glass isn't as bad as plastic because at least it turns into something pretty. But let's try not to throw our shit on the beaches. Okay? Okay. So my friend came out and we enjoyed the sunshine, got our tan on, went for a swim, and it only took me 10 minutes, literally it took us 10 minutes to pick up these three bags full of trash. Like, So you know that's all the bags that we had today, but it's just nice to think about the fact that like if everybody took a grocery bag even, just a grocery bag, every time you go somewhere that's going to be polluted with trash, and just pick up a grocery bag's worth of trash whenever you go, it's going to take like two minutes of your time, and you can wash your hands or wear a glove, and that's it. And if you get enough people on board doing this, like... We can clean some shit up. Now obviously we got some other habit changes that need to happen in order to completely um, stop the use of plastic and everything that we're used to doing. Like there's definitely some habit changes that need to happen but the little tiny things are the things that first spark an interest in people and that's what I really want to do with using this as an example is show people that you can do this too. Like look at this. 10 minutes. This many bags. That's it.
look at some of our findings for today. We got a little, a little baby shoe. What is this shit? There's like barnacles on this stuff. Like, this is crazy. I don't know if you can see it. Barnacles! We got a nice little nasty jar of Nutella that's melted. Disgusting. Disgusting. But all of this in 10 minutes. Right in there. 